Hi everybody, I'm Nettie Kay. Welcome back to my studio. I have a really big question. Is it possible to, uh, you know, use too much color in your painting? <laughs> and I know some of you guys are kind of giggling over there in the corner going, look over her left shoulder and see that painting. Yeah, there's too much color in that. Well, what are we talking about here? I'm talking about uh, this painting that we worked on a couple of weeks ago, uh, having three basic colors, green, red, and turquoise. Now, the green and red are kind of interesting. They're complementary colors. But when I added the, the uh, turquoise in the middle of it, uh, we've got three stars. And when there are three stars, meaning three points of focus, then nobody is in focus. So uh, that's what I had to correct. So I decided to go ahead and work this painting and neutralize it a little bit and try to figure out you know, what was important and uh, pull that out a little bit. So I'm going to show you what I did. Okay, so hang on just a sec. All right, so uh, now this is what the painting looks like at this point. Uh, quite, quite different, isn't it? Now, some of you guys might have really liked that turquoise scarf, and I'm sorry if I messed up the painting for you, but uh, what I did was I took the turquoise scarf out and I neutralized the, uh, the table on which the items were sitting. And then on top of that, I darkened the corners. I'm going to lean this forward so you can really see how dark those corners are. I darkened the corners. Now this is a uh, turquoise with a burnt sienna. Worked out really good. I like that. Turquoise and burnt sienna. And then I put a nice misty color here. I add a little bit of white with a, with a tiny drop of teal and a little bit of cadmium orange into the white and made a nice mist here and, and morphed it in. And I didn't stretch that all the way across. I just want to have it kind of vignette a little bit where it's a little more dark around the corners to where the focus becomes closer into, uh, you know, not the center of the, of the piece, but wherever I want the eye to go. Now, uh, on top of that, what did I do? Well, I darkened uh, this side of the green ginger pot and to where it is almost the same value, very, very close to the same value as the shadow. And it gives it kind of a lost edge uh, effect to where it doesn't become the focus, okay? It's not the focus over here. Uh, this is a little more the focus because it's nice and bright and in line with the light. Uh, then I also did the same thing to the apples. So I made the shadow uh, about the same as the darkness on the, the side of this apple. The same over here. I made the shadow the same darkness as this side of the apple and in the pot. So it's really a big, big shadow right in here. And then this one, I haven't put a shadow in. I've just kind of let that one sit out forward. On top of that, I put in a little bit of orange on the top of the um, Persian vase. Um, some cadmium orange and a little highlight. Took a little bit of the Hansa Yellow Deep, added some white and created a yellow uh, uh, pattern on this side, but I left this one in the raw sienna so it's a little bit darker on this side so it feels like as though it's in shadow. And so anyway, so I hope this kind of helps you a little bit to uh, understand how to create that, that drama and realize that if you have have colors that are all in the same intensity, you could be giving yourself a little bit of grief. Just saying. Okay, so when I make a little bit of a mistake or I see something that can be greatly improved on one of our lessons, I just may go back and kind of, you know, uh, admit that I've got a, a, some improvements that need to be made and I'll show you how to make those from time to time. Now next time we meet, who knows what we'll be doing, but I'm sure it'll be lots of fun, and I do hope you'll join me. Thank you guys so much for any of you who have gone on to my Etsy site at nettykstudio.etsy.com and ordered uh, pet portraits in the last month. I really super appreciate it. It's been a very hard month, uh, very, very difficult time during COVID, and I know many of you guys are, are not doing very well either uh, financially, so... I do so much appreciate uh, any of you that have gone on and have uh, helped by uh, purchasing a painting. So um, I do hope you'll join me next time, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>